Hello everyone, welcome to Rising Stars channel. Today's book is an educational book. It's called Grow, Secrets of Our DNA. So this is not a story book, it's more of an educational book. So you have to look at the pictures and listen as I read to you, okay? All living things grow, plants, animals, and humans. So these are the plants, these are some animals, and these are people. You can see from babies all the way around to adults, okay? The way they grow helps them survive in different places. Some grow fast to make the most of good times. Desert four o'clock plants make the most of rare showers of rain by growing from seed to flower in just 10 days. Turquoise killifish hatch grow to the size of your little finger and lay eggs in 15 days just in time before the puddles they live in dry up so that's the plants that's the flowers and that's the fish the killifish And others grow slowly so that they can keep going when times are rough. Bristol corn pines endure harsh mountain conditions by taking 40 years to grow to the size of a pencil. They live for more than 4,000 years. In the deep Arctic Ocean, where it's always cold and dark, quahog clams can take 500 years to grow to be as big as your palm. Okay. Look. How much things grow is important. Some never get very big, while others grow to be enormous. Sunfish and leaf chameleons start life pretty small, but chameleons must live under leaves. So they never grow longer than a matchstick. Sunfish have the whole ocean to swim in and they can grow to be huge. Look, that's the chameleon. They live under here. But look at the sunfish. It's huge. And growing isn't only about size, it's about change. Seeds don't grow into bigger seeds, but into trees and flowers, caterpillars turn into butterflies. Look, that's the garden. So they planted some seeds and they turn into lots of different plants. If that's a caterpillar, 
these ones, these wiggly ones. And then these are the butterflies. They've turned into butterflies now. Up there. And this blue one. And this grey and white one. You grew from a tiny blob, smaller than a dot, inside your mum's tummy. Two days old, six years old, ten years old, but your body didn't just get bigger, it changed shape becoming more complicated and able to do more things. Look, there she is a baby. And then you grew and then you grew and then your mommy had you. And then here you are, that's your mum and dad. Well, you can pretend that's your mum and dad. And then that's Hold up it on and then that's when you start school. Well, when you're going to school. Not when you start school, because you start school when you're younger than ten years old. See? So that's the baby girl. Okay? And if you're a boy, it's the same. You start off in your mummy's tummy as a blob and then a little baby and then a little baby and then your mommy has you as a boy and then that's and then that would be you at two two days old and then that would be you at six years old but imagine you're a boy this is a girl okay i don't want you confused and then if you were 10 you'd be bigger if you were a boy okay but that's a picture of a girl Look, celebrating birthday and graduation. Not a birthday, a yeah, a birthday and a graduation. Okay, let's see what it's all about. You will go on growing and changing as you become an adult. You won't have to think about it or tell your body what to do because right from when you were dot sized, your body has been following a set of instructions. These instructions aren't written in words, but in a code made from something called DNA. DNA. Look. Continue growing and growing and growing. And the same thing happens to boys, okay? It's a girl telling a story in this book. That's why it's got pictures of a girl. If you could see DNA, it would look like a spiral ladder with different kinds of steps. DNA base. Adenine, thamine, cytosin, guanine. There are four, diff four kinds of steps shown here. In different colors, the spiral ladder of DNA has thousands and thousands of steps. So these four kinds can be ordered in many, many ways. Yeah. So these are the four different types of DNA. And that's the ladder they make. And they're all ordered. 
Okay. Look, different noses, different hair, different eyes. Okay, should we find out what it's about? The patterns of the steps create the coded instructions to build bodies. We call that pattern the genetic code. It's called the genetic code. And we all and we call each instruction a gene. A gene. Four genes. Four genes to shape a nose. A hundred genes, well, more than a hundred genes to help control hair colour and texture. This is not my hair, but this is my hair. Okay. It takes more than 20,000 genes working together in the right order to build a human body. And keep it running. Okay, so it keeps it working. That's about two meters of DNA. That's a really lot. Luckily, DNA is very skinny and folds up so small that you you'd need a microscope to see it. So it's very tiny. That's how a copy of your genetic code fitted inside you when you were just a dot and how it fits inside almost every one of the cells that make your body. Look, it's two meters. That's how long it is. Look, that's how long it is. From here all the way there. They've measured it. Oh, it looks like a yummy picnic. They're having a yummy picnic. Half of your genetic code comes from your biological dad and half from your biological mom. That's why you may look a bit like both of them. The exact mixture of instructions that you get from your parents isn't exactly like your brothers or your sisters unless you have an identical twin it's unique okay so if you if you're not a twin if you don't have an identical twin it means you have different dna's from your brother or the dna from your brother or your sister DNA code, okay? Which makes you unique. See, they look like they were me and daddy. Oh, look at all these people. By studying how similar or different genetic codes are, scientists can tell who is related to who. Although your genetic code is unique, it's very similar to that of your family and shows that you are closely related. It's also quite similar to the genetic code of every other person on earth. 
because we are all human beings. See? We are nearly at the end of the book. Animals and plants have a genetic code too. Human genetic code is very like the genetic code of chimpanzees, our closest animal relatives. It's like dog genetic code even less like that of a goldfish and much less like that of a rose. Look. So animals also have genetic code. And so do plants. But we share some parts of our genetic code with all living things. Those that are alive now and all those that have ever lived on earth. Although we are so different, our DNA shows us that we are all part of life's big family. Look at all the animals. There's elephants. There's birds. There's snakes. People. Lots of different living things. Our DNA connects us with each other and, our, and to our ancestors back through time to the very start of life on Earth. Look, it's She is drawing out the DNA code, the genetic code, okay? Because all life has always been written in one language. DNA, the genetic code. Look. She find out what you need to do afterwards. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the book and this is what you can do after you've heard this book. Okay. Let's read. Your body is made of tiny units called cells. You began life as a single cell. By the time you were born, you were made of 26 billion cells. And by the time you are an adult, you'll be made of almost 2,000 times as many as that. You began growing when two cells, an egg cell from your mum and a sperm cell from your dad, joined together to make one cell. The DNA inside these cells joined up together and the long DNA string bunched up into fat sausages like chromosomes called chromosomes sorry the chromosomes then split down the middle and the cell split into two and two into four and four into eight 
and 8 into 16. This splitting is called mitosis. Mitosis. At first, the new cells were all the same, but soon the instructions in your DNA started to make them different into different kinds of cells. These are over 200. There are over 200 kinds, different kinds of cells in your body, including muscle cells that help you move, nerve cells that carry a message around your body, brain cells that connect to each other, so you think. Skin cells that protect your body. Blood cells that carry oxygen to every part of your body. That's how all different parts of your body began to grow. Can you see it? It's this drawing here. See you in the next video. Bye.